my name is Catherine Phelps. This is Victoria Haslam, and Hello. she's playing Gruia, our, right. our, our matriarch, one of our matriarch elephants in uh, Herd of Elephants. And she has been doing lots of acting of late. The, the one I quite enjoyed recently was um, Midsummer's Night's Dream. Oh, yes, yes. Where she yes. played Hippolyta. So, how did you get into that show? Well, I was doing the realizing a set for Sly Rat, um, and that was back in October. And Alan and Andy had decided that they really wanted to do this, uh, an outdoor festival. And what they chose, of course, was Midsummer Night's Dream as their inaugural piece because it was just so appropriate for the Melbourne yeah, summer. Yeah. And I think I was painting the faux floor, and Alan said to me, I think you'd make a really good Hippolyta. Would you like to do that? Is that something you'd like to do? And I thought, oh, Queen of the Amazons? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I think you could probably bring a little Hippolyta to our, to our elephants. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, good. I mean, that, that character, I mean... She's feisty. Yeah, I don't want to have any spoilers here, but she kind of ends up... Mm -mm. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Protecting, you protecting the boss. family, protecting exactly. the family, and showing who's boss. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, so. that's a, yeah, that's a good. I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's gonna go. What are they talking about? <laughs> it's like there's that moment, you know. It's like, oh yeah. That's right. and she just gets on her fierce, mm, yeah, maternal thing, and that's it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, these elephants are like that. They are. <laughs> exactly. And um, we were talking earlier about, um, <laughs> she was just at a birthday party at the <laughs> zoo, right? And we were talking, oh, little baby Ongar. And they even spoke in one of these videos, like, little baby Ongar. Uh, he's not little, is he? No. <laughs> he's just littler than the other elephants. That's right, but they are. Mm. He's at least four times my size. <laughs> that, that, more, probably. I mean, probably, yeah. goodness, when they're born, they can be like, I don't, it's probably the average is like 100 kilos Yeah. at birth. I that, mean, that's... That would be probably even more. I mean, yeah. that's massive. Yeah, yeah. And I thought my kids were big, but jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but yes, relative to uh, the others, yes, you could say, yeah. oh, he's tiny. But yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they're just beautiful. And twenty-two months of gestation. <gasps> twenty-two months. Oh Can my you lord. Imagine? No, that's two and a half times about yeah. hours of ours. Yeah. And I was. Come on, come on, <laughs> up until like nine months, but, but no, that's, but the, the other, the flip side of that is, you know, that special closeness that yeah, they have yeah. for those 22 months, that's mm. extraordinary. Yeah. And I am a little jealous of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, mm. <laughs> yes, because they grow up too quickly. Mm. And then the whole owl mother thing where all of the elephants are mom. Right. All of them. And they don't even have to be fairly, they don't even have to be very old for the little That's female right. elephants to decide, it's time to be mommy too. And uh, when, um, I don't know, if the Daphne Sheldrake Trust, they've got um, all these orphaned elephants. Right. And they bring them all together, and it's interesting how they sort themselves out. And one that's only three years old can end up being the owl mother for mm. a whole group and form their own herd with a, an elephant that's nowhere that's near right. fully grown, but they want that comfort. And one of them's willing to take on that role of, all right, I'm mom. That's lovely. Yeah. It is lovely, too, and it's such a female thing mm. because, you know, with their young, you know, cats and dogs. Um, it can be six weeks, let's say, eight weeks. Yeah. But, you know, this is years. I don't think the, mm. the weaning process can be up to five years. Is that? Ten. Or ten years. Ten. That's even better. Can you believe it? Well, with see, that's so special, too. But yeah. that is, it's such a, a female thing where, yeah. and the, the, I think the, the, um, the women just sort of gravitate mm. to each other. Yeah. yeah. And it's um, important because it's a learning thing for the, the females mm. as well. Whereas the males... Not that they don't, they're not close, but they'll go off and do their own thing. Yeah. And they're encouraged to do that. But yeah, that, that incredible like, female bond. Oh, but the males learn from that. Because they when, they, when they go off to their own groups, they bond with each other mm. as well and are also deeply kind and helpful yeah. to one another. So they're just 
gorgeous all around. But it's, you know, that with the aloe, uh, Mom, too, that's yeah. why it, I, I thought that was really cool that a three-year-old could be yeah. all of a sudden, you know, just sort of be like the matriarch or the hub yeah. of her own group because of yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. So it makes you want to be an elephant. You know, yeah, I know, that's what I was thinking when I was looking at the other, If it worked for the other, you know, as far as the horrible things they're having to experience oh, yeah. in Africa, you just go, I'll be an elephant. I mean, oh, I'll no. think if you'd have this tribe around you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, with this incredible, yeah, security and mm. bond and, you know, yeah. um, communication. Mm. But I did, when I was standing there looking at, at um, he looked very sad, standing apart from the other mm. behind the boulder because I think yeah. they were sick of all the, the um, crowds looking <laughs> yeah, at them. Yeah. And I realized that I started going like this because I, I remember they used to we weren't going to have appendage ears no, or prosthetic ears. No. We would have to use our arms or something. Yeah. And I started doing this. Yeah. And the little girl next to me just kind of went, <laughs> what is she doing? And I said, oh, it's ears like this. And so she just did that too. Oh, oh that's so cool. It's so very cool. Yeah, because yeah. we're going to have people like use their hands like they're an elephant mm. and picking things up and what have you. And, yes. then, like, and then we're a bit hot here, so we just do yeah. that. You know? Exactly. <laughs> I know, that was my... Yeah. Mm, like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So... Um, have you ever ridden an elephant? Yes, I did when I was very little, but I don't remember a lot about it. It was mm. at the uh, Boise Zoo. You're not, they're finding it's not really a good thing for them these days. And uh, tourist it's rides, the way yeah. they treat the elephants for those is just pretty miserable. But uh, Elephant Aid International right, has been doing some amazing stuff to teach the uh, mahouts that they don't have to chain the elephants. Right. Right, so they're going out there and unchaining them. And also they've got um, this new ecotourism thing whereby um, they have the elephants just do whatever they want to do and then people in the morning go out and just have a walk with them. Mm. And they're finding people are coming just as much for that yep. as for being you know, on an elephant and riding. Right. So they're finding you don't have to do the other. You just don't. And the mahouts were terrified, evidently, that they were going to lose their elephants. That's right. It wasn't like that. It was that whole like that battle for control where they didn't want to yeah. acknowledge that the elephant had a you know was a thinking creature yeah. um, and could e e exert its sort of wishes. Mm. And so it just seemed like the mahouts always wanted to break their spirit. Um, and mm. so that's with the chains and the. Um, and then the beatings as well too. And I think it, it actually mm -hmm. works better if there's like mutual respect. So by yeah. the unchaining, mm. I think that gives them the idea that you know they're going to be treated in a better way. Mm. Um, and that probably is the best. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Daphne Sheldrake doesn't have much problem at mm. all with the elephants that way. They come running up to her, going, "Hi." <laughs> Wouldn't you love to go? Oh, be a volunteer there for the summer? Oh. Oh, it's something like that. I hope I get a chance. We're, oh. we're hoping this. We're hoping this. Yeah. Will, we'll get a. Will a help save elephants and b give me a chance to look at an elephant in Africa. That's right.